All right, now switching our focus to the um, the S P 500, uh, looking at ticker symbol S P Y. Price action as of Friday, the spider closed down three dollars and two cents, a whopping two point seven five percent down. Weak bids into the close. As for market sentiment, the post scan swing VIX reading is a positive thirty one point five nine. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The post scan crossed above the swing VIX, creating an uptrend channel as of seven periods ago. The swing VIX is above 29. This is where it usually forms resistance. The swing VIX usually forms resistance before the underlying security. Therefore, we now have a crash alert. Short-term market top. Possible sell-off is likely due to weak market pulse projections. The last signal was an oversold buy seven periods ago. The swing VIX has just reached its highest value in the last 14 periods. This is bullish. The swing VIX has just set a new 14 period high while the securities price has not. This is a bullish divergence. Since the pulse scan leads the market three to five days out, we will wait to see if an upside breakout occurs. Since the last swing VIX signal, the S&P 500's price has increased a 0.53% and has ranged from a high of $110.09 a share to a low of $103.02 per share. Taking a look at momentum, currently the trend is very bearish. This market is under heavy distribution. The downtrend is still intact with prices holding below trend line resistance at $104.56 a share. Trend strength is weak and range bound. Prices have ceased trending and have become consolidated at this time. The market has put in a short term bottom. This means that bears are liquidating short positions and has taken some profit off of the table. Hence, we did move from this low to this high. Now we're coming back down again. As for trend line retracements, the close is currently below its long term trend line retracement of $104.56 per share. Friday sell-off pushed prices on the close below the long-term trend line support area. This is bearish as the market is now under heavy distribution. The close is currently below its intermediate term trend line retracement of $109.94 per share. However, the close is currently above its short-term trend line retracement area of $107.67 per share. As we speak, Spider's price is at $106.28 per share. Thus, it is. if we close here, it will be below its uh, short-term trend line retracement of $107.67. As for Monday's price projections, we have resistance at $108.58 a share, and we have support at $107.06 per share. So far, today's high is 107.43. Today's low is $106.22 per share. Thus, we have violated the support area, but we have stayed well within the resistance zone. Weekly price projections are as follows. Resistance is at $110.09 a share. However, support is $101.13 per share. Our monthly price projections, long-term trend line resistance is at currently at $104.56 a share. Long-term trend line support is currently at $87 even. The bear, the bear market downtrend, uh, looking 12 to 18 months out, if this trend continues, we will hit a low target of $51.88 per share. Because we are now in a well-defined bear market, our bear market plunge protection team circuit breakers are now in effect. Looking at a deflated bubble phase one, projecting 12, I'm sorry, 24 to 36 months out, our price destruction target is $16.76 per share. If we hit a deflated bubble phase two where we could see panic selling and extreme fear enter the market, unfortunately, I have to say that we will not hit a phase three. So deflated bubble phase two, 42 to 60 months out under panic selling and extreme fear, our price destruction target is zero. Meaning that this stock could be delisted and or filed for chapter 11. 
looking at volatility. As of Friday, we closed above the lower volatility band by 44.8%. As far as in play, we have, let's see, give me just a second. Okay. Uh, we do have a positive swing VIX with bullish momentum long entry, and that would be a long entry of $109.33 per share with an initial profit target of $115.68 per share, and the stop loss is $106.31 per share. As you can see so far, we came nowhere near hitting that, so therefore that, uh, that trade, if you put that trade on this morning, uh, one note. One note I should make is, when we have entry points, we always in, uh, enter the market on stop limits. So whether you're selling short or going long, we always enter on a stop limit. And our stop losses, whether it be a, uh, a static stop loss or a stop and reverse, we always use good till cancel orders on our stops. And that, that protects you just in case you forget to place the stop the next day, because if you use a day order, it's going to expire. Uh, by the end of the trading day and you could forget in the following day to place that stop you could get busy anything could happen you always want to use good till canceled orders on that okay closing up uh looking at our bear market long short signals all right we're in play to the downside as well we have a crash alert market top possible sell-off is likely due to weak market pulse projections bearish momentum strengthening phase one our sell short entry is $106.31 per share. And our initial profit target is $99.18 per share with an initial stop loss of $109.33 per share. One thing I should note is that so far uh, the low of the day is $106.22 per share and we're currently trading at $106.33 per share. So if you follow the report and you put that trade on this morning, you would be now uh, short uh, this market uh, at 106.31 your price with the stop limit. And remember, if you are short this market, you want to use that, uh, that 109.33 stop loss, make that a good till canceled order. And remember, take what you can, give nothing back. If this market moves in your favor um, by by the close of today, you're going to want to at least move your stop loss to at least break even. And depending on how we move today and how it looks later on today, if you get so much as a, as a, as a dollar or a buck fifty in the money, you may even want to consider just taking some profit off the table. That's usually how we do it. All right, take what you can, give nothing back.